in this session let us now go for the measure toolbar the measure toolbar is used to find out the distance or the angle or the radius whatever you want to find out any parameter you can find out the value of the parameter but using this toolbar you won't be representing that particular parameter on the drawing it is only for the sake of finding out and knowing suppose you have a line of length around 20 units enter and left click right after this i'll go to the measure toolbar and the first option over here is measure distance select this and over here you will be getting the measure distance dialog box in the measure distance dialog box there are various distance methods the first one being between points after that there is a long element perpendicular minimum between as well All right. so first let us choose the between points option and next we need to select two points between which the distance will be displayed over here first point I am choosing as the start of this line and the second point I am choosing as the end of this line when you click over here automatically the distance will be displayed over here the distance is 20 mm similarly over here in the status bar also you can read the distance is given as 20 mm suppose over here I start from this particular point and I want to find out the distance from this point to this point you need not have any geometry created you can even click in space in this way and the distance between those two points is displayed from here to here as 46 again when you click at a third point the distance will be added together that is the distance from here to here plus distance from here to here is equal to 73.1225 that is how the distance will be added up suppose I draw a line over here for a distance of 5 enter left click next vertically around 8 enter and left click then towards the right again 3 enter and left click now when I am going to measure the distance click on measure option between points from here to here it is 5 units you can see over here next from here I am again clicking on this point this is 13 that is 5 units along the horizontal plus 8 units along the vertical total it is 13 units now again click over here and you will be getting it as 16 5 plus 8 13 plus 3 16 that is how you will be using the distance between points option All right. basically whatever whichever points you will be clicking those points will help it identify and sum up individual lengths and the total resultant length will be displayed over here as the distance okay. the next option over here is along element suppose you have an arc over here I am starting it over here and this is the center the length let us specify the length as around 20 enter this is how you will be getting the length of the sorry that is the arc place now after having this arc placed over here next in order to find out the length of the arc you can go over here instead of the between points option go with the along element option if you select the between points option select over here and select over here it will give you the straight distance that is the distance shortest distance between these two points is given as 16.45 insert if you go with the along element option now click over here on this point and next click on this point that is the start point and the end point then the last distance is entered over here given over here that is 20 units approximately 20 the selection of the points has to be precise that is how you will be measuring the distance along the length of that particular element for this arc we had given the length of the arc as 20 and this is how you will be measuring it All right. so that is about the along element option the next option is perpendicular 
let me draw over here Sorry, point center and this is the arc in this way now draw another line over here now select the measure option and perpendicular method going to enter the start point over here after which I am going to click on this line from here to here the distance wherever you click the perpendicular distance will be displayed over here now suppose I click over here the distance is displayed as 4.629 that is from this particular line the perpendicular distance to this arc you can specify by clicking on this point in this way this is 7.57 in this way you can go over here and select it this is 5.13 suppose I have another rectangle over here now I am choosing this again perpendicular select it now from this element the perpendicular distance still either the rectangle or this arc wherever you click that perpendicular distance will be given that is normal to the selected element suppose I click over here this distance is given as 5.6178 alright so this is about the perpendicular option right now when we are selecting the perpendicular option the distance or the specification of the points was in our hands we were choosing the perpendicular distance from this element that is the inclined line to wherever we wanted that is on the rectangle as well you could click anywhere and the distance would be given in this way in this way etc right suppose you go with the next option called minimum between this option will help us find out the shortest distance between two elements select this element and select this element the shortest distance between these two elements exists on these two points and the distance will be equal to 4.4435 that is how you will be giving the minimum between distance let me create one more arc over here or this arc which we have already placed over here can be used with this vertical line in this way go with minimum between select the first element any element then select the second element between these two elements the shortest distance or the minimum distance between these two elements is over here which is equal to 7.9946 right this is how you will be using the first option called measure distance okay next select this option measure radius and I am clicking on this arc when you click on this arc the primary radius and primary diameter that is 2 into primary radius is also given the secondary radius and secondary diameter come when it is in terms of ellipse so I select an ellipse and I am drawing the ellipse over here in this way select this now click on this ellipse you will be having a primary radius as well as a secondary radius that is a major axis and a minor axis both the axis distance is given over here the radius as well as the diameter values are provided next the next option over here is to measure the angle suppose I have this particular line in this way select this option measure angle and click on this line and click on this line the angle between both the lines is given as 46.0685 in this way now select this line and the third line the angle total angle from here to here is given as 139.5129 in this way you can find out the distance sorry the angle between two inclined lines or two inclined rectangles whatever I have a rectangle in this way and a rotated rectangle in this way
go with this option select this element and select this element the angle is given as 113.69 sorry 6294 the next option over here is measure length let me draw a line over here from here to a distance of around 30 enter at an angle of 15 sorry 30 enter tab 15 degrees enter and left click another one from here to here a distance of 30 units next now you will be going for the option called measure length select this and i'll click on this line directly the length of the line is given over here click on this line the length as well as the angle of the line is given over here this angle of the line is measured with respect to the last line measured that is first i had clicked on this line and then i had clicked on this one that is the reason the angle is being measured between these two lines the length anyways is 30 units let me draw another line over here from here with a distance of about 25 and an angle of 60 another line over here a distance of 10 itself check this i meant 10 distance enter angle as 0 itself now select this option and click on this line the last length is given as 10 units angle of line is right now 0 degrees now click on this line and it will be 25 units long and the angle has been given as 60 degrees if you click on the mass properties option the properties related to the mass of a particular line rectangle circle etc are given the centroid center of mass length mass mass per length etc etc all those options related to the mass properties click on display centroid and the centroid of that particular element is displayed over here you need to click on that line and the centroid is represented with a vertical line in this way suppose i click on display centroid and click on this element the centroid of this element is displayed sorry is displayed in this way the next option measure area is used to measure area between points or elements i'll stop this session over here let us resume in the next session these sub options